I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at 1-800-340-7091. Visit our website, 5starsoap.com, for buying a one- to two-month soap sampler. Thank you. Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m., many days we go into the fourth hour of Overdrive. We're here live, back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. The broadcast is exploding exponentially with AM and FM affiliates, uh, XM, record listenership online, and it's all because of the work I've done, my crew, the staff, you the listeners, the sponsors, the great stations that are out there. Be sure and support our local AM and FM affiliates. Spread the word about my show and other shows on those fine stations and support their sponsors uh, because it's important uh, that the alternative media and stations that stand up for the truth get the support they need to continue and expand. We're going to the one, the only David Icke, who really needs no introduction here in a moment. Uh, I asked what he wanted to get into first, and it's Egypt. That's what I wanted to get him on about, to get his view on. And so the uh, former head of the Green Party, uh, championship goalie, a best-selling author, researcher, uh, he will be uh, joining us for the balance of the hour here in a moment. I wanted to tell you about a few of the sponsors, speaking of sponsors that make the transmission possible. End of America, the number three dot com, of course, is breaking down the move away from the dollar that Hu Jintao has been talking about now. Uh, Stansbury & Associates Investment Research is an independent investment research firm founded in 99 with subscribers in more than 100 different nations. They recently created an eye-opening video that you can see for free at endofamerica, the number three, dot com. That's endofamerica, number three, dot com, for free. Detailing their biggest and most important prediction yet, that's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Also, talking about made in America, wherever you live, whether it's Brazil, the U.S., Germany, buy locally. The globalists want to deindustrialize you and make you dependent on, you know, foreign slave states. And a great place to find made in America jeans and other apparel is gusset.com forward slash America, diamond gusset jeans made in Tennessee and Georgia. And they've got a special running right now when you get some of the great regular jeans, motorcycle jeans, you name it. Super high quality. Find out why they're different uh, at gusset.com forward slash America. You can get free T-shirts uh, and a great music uh, CD about looking for America, about the deindustrialization with your uh, purchases. Find out about those specials at gusset.com forward slash America. And also don't forget infowars.com and, of course, prisonplanet.tv and prisonplanet.com. Uh, uh, now, uh, many have dubbed Ike as the most controversial speaker on the planet. Much of what he's talked about in the last 20 years has unfortunately come true. He deals with this false programmed matrix reality of disinformation we're fed. And his latest uh, book is Human Race, Get Off Your Knees, The Lion Sleeps No More, DavidIke.com. And uh, David, uh, serious times coming, uh, rebellion worldwide. Uh, but, but the globalists, strangely, admit that they're behind it. They know the rebellion was already coming, so they're trying to trigger it. So a uh, kind of like Red Adair would blow up an oil well once it was already on fire to extinguish the flames of revolution. Well, what does David Icke think is happening? Well, I think what we're seeing, Alex, is uh, uh, a classic uh, reformation or confirmation of something that anyone that wants to understand what's going on in the world must keep at the front of their mind, and that is no situation is ever black and white. It's always, if you're looking for the, the real truth, it's a shade of gray, and that's what we're looking at here. We have uh, understandably a, I believe, um, a genuine um, uprising from angry, poverty-stricken, oppressed and suppressed people. But when people are in that situation where... As we talked about before, freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. When you reach that point where you've got nothing to lose if you take certain action, then suddenly you lose your fear because what have I got to lose? I'm in this situation anyway. Now, because of the massive economic uh, uh, collapse and catastrophe around the world, people in all parts of the world, not just the Middle East, are, are, are feeling that and they're heading closer and closer to that line that says, I've got nothing to lose, let's go. Now, of course, uh, the mind manipulators, because that's what it is in the end, a mind game, a psychological game, 
they knew that this was coming and they have got to try to manage it for their own ends. So here we have, Alex, um, a genuine reaction to this 30 years of suppression and violence and tyranny by this U.S. and uh, no doubt British too, the two go together, uh, uh, tyranny and dictator Mubarak, who would serve their interests and serve the interests of Israel against the interests of the Palestinians. Um, and that is a genuine uh, reaction, no doubt. But you can see that when you've got a powder keg like that of resentment and, and uh, uh, oppression that will not take it anymore, then it's very easy to trigger that and then manipulate it. And that's why when the revolution truly comes to America and Britain, as it will, then we um, involved in any of that need to learn the lessons and, and, and become streetwise about the way this thing works. Because how many times... When you look at these uh, uh, so-called people's revolutions, not least in the former Soviet Union of, of Georgia, of Ukraine, of the Czech Republic, of uh, Kyrgyzstan, and uh, so on, these color revolutions, as they call them, um, again and again, it's been shown quite clearly that uh, Rothschild-connected uh, people like George Soros and uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski have been behind them, not least Soros's network of foundations that are not there for philanthropy. They are there to manipulate so-called, on the surface, people's revolutions that are putting their people in power. And you cannot ever judge the true nature of a revolution, its motivation and its background, until we see what has replaced the regime the revolution has, uh, has uh, removed. And when you look at Georgia and Ukraine and all these places where these Soros networks have been involved in the uh, manipulation, and not only that, the training of people in, in uh, uh, people's uh, uh, non-cooperation and protest uh, uh, techniques, um, the people that have gone into place have been invariably people who are front men for the very uh, the globalists and the Soros networks. Classic, Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili, scholarship to the U.S., Columbia Law School, George Washington University, New York law firm turns up and becomes president of Georgia after the so-called Rose Revolution manipulated by the Soros Foundations. We have this extraordinarily ludicrous situation now in the Ukraine, where I'm speaking next week, where um, a guy called Viktor Yanukovych um, was um, uh, removed after what was claimed to be uh, rigged elections in, I think it was 2004, the so-called Orange Revolution, that very man is now president of the country. So that revolution, of course, uh, changed nothing with, with, with hindsight. And when you look at um, the situation now in Egypt, who turns up um, not lived in the country for, for most of his adult life? Mohammed el Baradi, the okay, head of the exactly. UN... And, and who is this man? He's, he's uh, been on the board of the International Crisis Group, which claims on its website to be an independent, non-profit, non-governmental organization committed to preventing and solving deadly conflict, when it's actually there to manipulate regime change in the very way that I'm talking about. And they about. now admit that they sent him in the week before, they admittedly triggered it, they're bragging about it while publicly saying that they support Mubarak because they know Western support for Mubarak will enrage the populace even more. But then publicly at the same level, admit that they're doing it. And, and so this is what I wanted to ask you, David. I want you to continue. Do you agree with my analysis here? Because I knew this a decade ago because I saw them bragging about it. But now they've come out in Wired Magazine, you name it, and, and admitted Google is NSA software for keyword. It, they just get you to search the database to put your own information on it so they literally know what you're thinking and doing. And Google says 93 to 99% of the time they know where you're going to eat, what you're going to surf, what you're going to do more than you even know. And they're able to predict the future. It's a, it's a scientific crystal ball to a certain extent by tracking mass movements of people and they knew that there was rebellion against all their dictators forming, and so they're going to trigger it early 
to then bring their people uh, back in, and that's basically what's happening. But we'll put up on screen uh, those uh, articles about Google. Uh, it was now claiming they're getting companies where they can do this. That's what they've been set up to do all along. That's why the globalists are so arrogant uh, is because uh, they literally do nothing but study humanity and how we operate. Yeah, well, the International Crisis Group board members, uh, Chairman George Soros, uh, Mohammed El Baradi, Wesley Clark, say no more. Javier Solana, uh, the uh, NATO Secretary General, as was. Sabigny Brzezinski is one of their senior advisors. Richard Armitage, for goodness sake, and Prince Turkey Al Faisal who is a member of the Saudi Arabia royal family, who, of course, love democracy and freedom, which this international crisis group is supposed to uh, represent. So you look at that, and it's quite clear that um, El Baradi is their man. Now, also, the Daily Telegraph in Britain has been running... Um, uh, stories and articles about the fact that some of the people that were uh, that triggered this uh, popular uprising, which in its in its in its entirety, that's what it is from the people's point of view, were actually uh, connected to the American embassy in uh, in Cairo and came to America and, and 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 all the rest of it. So you can see how it's been manipulated. And the thing is that people like Brzezinski in his books, they are telling you what's going to happen, uh, disguised as prophecy, if you like. Kissinger came out uh, on Bloomberg last night and said, this is only the first scene in the first act of a play. That's exactly what I was coming to. Um, that uh, quote, this is, the only, this is only the first scene of the f first act of the drama that is played out. That is telling you what's coming. And you see, I've been writing for years about the fact that these Arab oil states and these Arab uh, dictatorships and royal dictatorships were being played like a violin. It was only a matter of time. And, and again, you come to the shades of grey. Should the dictators and, and royal... Um, Tyrannies in Yemen, Algeria, Libya, Jordan, Syria, Morocco, Saudi Arabia. Oh, Stay yes, there, please, David. Arabia. We got to break it. Powerful info. We're going to look at the geopolitical map when we come back. Forget everything you've been told about long-term food storage. When all hell breaks loose, you'll need the single most effective way to get high-powered Delta Force nutrients to your family fast. Like any Special Forces Commando, you need a plan. You need a Black Hawk Down food plan. Introducing the Survival Sprout Bank from Solutions from Science. It's your countertop survival garden. Yes, grow fresh greens right on your countertop in just a few short days. Sprouts are the green shoots that emerge from newly germinated seeds, and they are powerhouses of living, easily absorbed nutrients. The Survival Sprout Bank is a complete kit with nothing else to buy. And with sprouts so easy to grow, even children can grow emergency food. Call 877-327-0365 or go to Survival Sprout bank.com that's 877-327-0365 or order online at survival sprout bank.com survival sprout bank your black hawk down emergency food plan they helped to create a new world order we are part of a new world order a new world order based upon collective action invisible empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents the New World Order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or Prison Planet.